What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game between Bournemouth and Wolves at the Vitality Stadium. And it was a, it was a well fought three points. I mean, we absolutely dominated the first half and it was probably the, the most dominant um, away performance um, uh, we've put in all season um, from the first half alone anyway. We fully deserved our, our 2 0 lead. Um, Jean Matinho, what a free kick that was! What a free kick! I mean, if that if that is not one of the contenders for goal of the month, then I don't know what is. Right into the top right hand corner, and um, I think it's an understatement if I if I say absolutely no chance for the goalkeeper there. And then um, a quick fire free kick, uh, play. Um, played into Traore by Matinho, uh, who squared it across for him and Ez for 2 0. And um, just slick football there. Um, and um, we were in a flash, we were 2 0 up. And um, and uh, we, we were really um, full value for our lead. Um, and we went into half time uh, with nothing, nothing much really to worry about. 2 0 up. And. Um, Pretty dominant in the game. I guess the red card did not help matters at all um, for Bournemouth. They were 2 0 down, and uh, just out of pure frustration, um, Simon Francis uh, got his second book of offence after, uh, after um, uh, impeding uh, Diogo Jota. They made a game with it in the second half. Uh, they pulled one back um, through Steve Cook, and um, they really did make a game of it. I mean, two nil down and also a man down. What else can you do? Um, but go for it. And uh, they certainly did that in the second half. Full credit to Bournemouth. They they came, they came back uh, in the second half and they did pull a goal back. Um, but in the end, we did um, hold on for the three points. And um, I'd say from that first half of performance alone, we absolutely deserved the three points. That was a really nice away win because Bournemouth is a tricky place to go. Um, I mean, ever since they've been in the Premier League, um, ever since they've been in the Premier League, they've they've uh, surprised everyone and they've really been a uh, quite a force um, in in the Premier League um, and a really well a really tricky team to beat, uh, especially on their own patch. Um, but yeah, um, three points. Really happy with three points, and um, now. Uh, we have a Europa League game um, against Braga. And, um, well, I guess if we get a point out of that, uh, we go through to the knockout stages, which, well, we're fifth in the Premier League now. This is probably the, the perfect time. Um, uh, the perfect time in the season um, to be on a good run. We're, we're on a good uh, little unbeaten run. Uh, I think we're about eight games unbeaten in the Premier League. Uh, which is great. We're we're doing really well in the Europa League as well, and um, I think just a point uh, will do it. Um, I think just a point point will do it against Braga on Thursday night, and um, and we'll be in the knockout stages, uh, which I mean, we've uh, so far we're really overachieving in the Premier League. I mean, I'd, I'd be really happy with mid table this season. We're a absolutely flying at the moment, and. Um, there couldn't be a um, could be a better time to be in in a good run of form uh, when we're so high in the league and uh, we're also doing really well in the Europa League as well. Um, so yeah, we have got uh, Braga on Thursday. We have Sheffield United at home next. They, they've just got a, they've got uh, they've just got a draw uh, against Manchester United. Um, so uh, yeah, they they they've been a real surprise package in the Premier League so far this season. Um, so that that will be quite a tough game, even though it is at home, um, and it should be three points. Um, Sheffield United, really organised team, and will be a really uh, hard team to break down. So um, yeah, that's the next game in the Premier League, uh, and that that will be on Sunday. Um, uh, but uh, until then, we got to. A Europa League game to look forward to, um, which is away in Portugal against Braga. Um, if you did enjoy this match review, make sure to smash that like button. Apologies, it is a bit later than usual. Um, 
uh, but I, I will um, try and uh, get back to um, normal uh, upload schedule in the next few weeks. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button, and I shall see you uh, on Friday with a review of the Sporting Braga game. Until then, goodbye guys! <laughs>